The title of GOAT has no age, colour or gender within anime. Some of the most badass GOAT characters are females and they completely dominate aggressively or in a specific way which is unique to them. A badass female character is a great catalyst to a masterclass anime and I feel like they're needed. One because depiction is key but two because who doesn't want to see some females kick ass. Yo guys it's your boy Jay on Chain, your neighbourhood samurai. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been there before make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm trying to get like the big dogs alright. Alright, today we're going to be going over three goated female anime characters that aren't just all talk. That's some female character we know. <coughs> Sakura. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, in no particular order, we have our first goat, Kagura from the anime Gintama. Now, like most characters from the show Gintama, she may come across unserious and she likes to play jokes and she likes to just enjoy her life until shit gets serious. Within the anime Gintama, when things are serious, it really goes down. Her persona, right, completely shifts from the whole happy go lucky character that she is here, and she completely changes into a cold hearted killer, especially when she loses control and enters the state of rage to protect those that she cares about. She's an expert in hand to hand combat, and she actually suppresses her true power because she doesn't like her family heritage. She almost gives herself a handicap. She has amazing healing abilities and reflexes she was able to catch a bullet with her hands and her mouth but what makes her truly go is the fact that she will abandon the rules she set for herself to reject her bloodline's power if she has to protect her friends which indicates the type of person she is if that's not a female goal i really don't know what is moving on swiftly to our second female goal we have revy from the anime black lagoon who i must say is just an aggressive demon i wouldn't want her being a girlfriend she might put a cap in my ass but what makes her character so badass and yet scary is the fact that she's constantly living on the edge of life. Revy's outlook on life is rather bleak. She relies only on her own poorness, skills and money. She doesn't believe in God or emotion. Once telling Rock that God and love always seemed lacking and she never needed them. However, she seems to respect and trust her companions. So that indicates why she's so scary because she knows that maybe someone isn't going to give her aid, someone isn't going to help her. She's going to have to survive for herself. So that makes her have that undying persona where she knows he has to survive survival of the fittest and she knows in this world or in that era within the anime yeah it was dominated by men mostly so she knew that for her to survive she had to be cut above the rest in terms of skill ability gunfighting proneness and her ability to dodge bullets is almost superhuman and unparalleled this is a character that you shouldn't give her a glock with a switch extended onto it because everyone gone dead literally everyone's gonna die everyone's gone dead yeah because she's that handy with the guns that she wields you know what i'm trying to say her fighting proneness is that up there you know and like i said she's really aggressive and she has to become that she has to become an animal in order to survive so if she's not goaded i don't know who is you lot can't tell me nothing and if you haven't seen black lagoon you definitely gotta tap into that show leading on to our third and final goal of this video this might come as a surprise to some of you. We got Coco from the anime Draw Man Gun. If I didn't butcher the name, I do apologize, right? And the reason I have to place her in this video is because although she bears no physical powers and she isn't super strong and aggressive like the previous character, she has Queen Aura that captivates those that come into contact with her. How else would she have a whole mercenary group under her willing to die for her every cause without her having to fight herself? Guys, that just depicts what type of character she is. You know, some people that you meet in this life, they just have something about them, they have a gravity about them. And in terms of her, she got gravitational pull to move characters in a way to allow them to do her bidding. Now, she's also a character, you never really know what she's thinking. Most times she's making jokes, yeah, she's very unserious, but she's someone that when she does get serious, yeah, you will know about it. You know what I'm trying to say? She thinks about 10 steps ahead and she has to due to the line of work that she's in. You know, because like I said, she's an arms dealer, so she has to be 10 steps ahead. So, the fact that she's got a whole mercenary group under her, male, female, kids, right? And they will do all of her bidding without her having to lift her finger, shows you. Like I said, they will die for her every call. She's almost like a queen, you know? A queen of killers, I would say. You know what I'm trying to say? But she doesn't necessarily treat them like killers, but they all know it, you know? And I feel like that depiction of her character shows you what's so great about her. The fact that a female, especially being in the arms business, that's not normal, right? As far as I'm concerned anyway, that's not normal. But also the fact that she's all, all these people that's under her, yeah, that are all men and none of them hype up to her, all of them respect her character, respect 
the level of boss she's at and that shows you why she's really captivating as a character and why she has to be a goal yeah it's unavoidable she has to be a goal and in the show she doesn't let anyone take her for Elia so guys what do you think about this video should I do another one should I do a part two who should I include in part two name me some of your female ghosts below this is your boy Jay on chain I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the bell notification subscribe to the channel show your boy some love I'm looking out peace